I'm Geeta Menon. I'm the Dean of the Undergraduate College at Stern Business School at New York University. And it's such a pleasure to host this event, our first ever NYU Stern India Business Forum. I'm really excited to be here, and I hope you are too. Uh, I'd like to extend a really warm welcome to the alumni, to, uh, to parents, students, faculty, and uh, to all the friends in the audience. So welcome, and I hope you have a really great day. We are joined today by our live webcast, Technology Helps Us. So we're being watched all around the world, and in New York City, hi to my son. He's an NYU student, but we've been getting emails uh, all day about when it's going to start and what, what's uh, going to be happening. So it's good to have this uh, cross-global uh, interaction. We also have uh, more than 50 students downstairs in a separate room watching this via uh, webcast. And I'd like to extend a really warm welcome to them too. We're going to be able to see them during the break. I'm waving at the camera in case you think I'm just being crazy. Um, so I want to extend a really warm welcome to them. You will see them during the breaks and uh, during the lunch. And potentially, they'll be able to send us questions and be interactive. So I just want to start off by saying that uh, I'm really thrilled to be here because Mumbai holds a very special uh, place in my heart. I grew up, I spent a, quite a few years here, and my father was in the Indian Navy, and as a family, we moved around quite a bit, but we spent a large chunk of our childhood here, and when I say we, I mean my brother and I, who's also in the audience. Um, it's, it's one of those things that uh, you know makes me feel very proud, honored, humbled, to be here in my home representing NYU Stern. It gives me a lot of pressure, a lot of pleasure, not pressure. You can see where my head is at. I just want everything to go smoothly today. Uh, the theme of today's uh, uh, conference is, uh, is uh, India in the 21st century, from potential to progress. And it's fitting on multiple levels. First and foremost, if you think about India and the essence of India, we're talking about a country which has traditionally been a cost-efficient uh, labor and service provider. Today, it's a power to reckon with, and it has so much potential that, can be, that is being harnessed currently that it's going to be driving growth in the future. So it just shows you the trajectory of India in a nutshell. At another level, uh, I think this title also speaks to NYU Stern's association with our alumni in, uh, in India. We have over 300 alumni, and as you can expect, every year the number of alumni keep growing. And it's a network that we keep active. We've had, uh, currently we have lots of alumni events. We have uh, classes here, both at the graduate and the undergraduate level. In fact, today in that uh, room with all the students, we have 23 students who are participating in a course which is called Stern Around the World uh, India. And I'm gonna say hi to them too, uh, because they're probably saying hi back to me, I just can't hear it. So that's another um, thing that we're engaging in right now. Uh, we also have a lot of faculty interest in research and Indian issues, and that's growing. And today kind of epitomizes some of that. We have some world-class faculty here who are going to share their research and their thinking on issues which are very, very uh, uh, germane to India. Uh, I'd also like to uh, say a little bit about NYU driving this conversation about issues that are germane to, uh, to the world at large. And today, I would like you to participate in that conversation. So what I'd like to do is have you, as often as possible, talk about it through your social media. Use the hashtag, Stern India. And I'm going to do that right now, because you know that's what I do. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of you. So smile, say cheese. Say Stern India. And I'm going to tweet this. Um, so please join the conversation. It's hashtag Stern India. I'd like to give a round of thanks, uh, first and foremost, to the faculty who are here, who have uh, come here to share their scholarship, their expertise. Thank you so much. Um, to the industry experts and policy makers, I know you guys are really, really, really busy, and there's so many demands on your time. So it means a lot to us that you've taken time out of your busy schedules to be here. So thank you. To our forum sponsors, thank you. We, we owe you a debt of gratitude, and thank you for supporting our inaugural efforts. And finally, to our audience, both who are here and via webcast, thank you so much. 
I have one more person to thank, and that is the president of New York University, John Sexton. Nobody understands this vision of going from potential to progress more than John. John was the, a person who conceived of this idea of the Global Network University, and he knows how to have a vision, how to take action, and how to make that vision a reality. I joined Stern over 20 years ago. At that time, uh, NYU was pretty much a regional college. And in the last two decades, you've seen this huge, I have witnessed firsthand, this huge transformation in our university. It has become a world-class institution, attracting the best talent, both on the faculty side, which is really important for intellectual, uh, uh, and no intellectual stimulation and knowledge generation. It also attracts world-class students. We have the best of the best at uh, NYU. And this is something that he has done. We are present in six continents around the world, and we have 16 campuses. And it's all interconnected. Our students travel seamlessly through this network. They study abroad. Our faculty go and conduct research in different places. This is John's vision. And the, it's, it's, he really exemplifies the potential to progress component. And today, NYU is one of the world-class institutions it is, and it's largely credited to John. Uh, when we conceived of this idea, obviously we were thinking along these lines and saying John would be a perfect person to come and speak. But I, I meet with uh, John and the rest of the university leadership team on a weekly basis, and I know how crazy his schedule is. He's on a plane pretty much every alternate week teaching a class in Abu Dhabi. And he sits in uh, New York, not to mention all the other travel he does and all the other stuff that must be really pressing on his time. So I thought it was a long shot, but I sent him an email and invited him. And uh, he replied pretty much immediately and with a resounding yes. And he readjusted his schedule, and he's here. And to me, that speaks volumes. And that's the kind of support I've learned to count on. Um, I've been in this role now for one and a half years. And I have to say that John exemplifies being a fantastic leader. And he's my role model. So without further ado, the president of New York University, John Sexton.